everyone, and welcome to my channel for another Grand Theft Auto 5 online video, and hope you're all doing good out there today. So in this video, what we're going to be looking at is some of the best ways that we can be making millions of dollars every single day this week in Grand Theft Auto 5. So what I've done here is looks like I have lucked out with the Union Depository, so all contract missions over at your auto shop are going to be dishing out double cash and double RP for the finales themselves, okay? Which is definitely going to be worth it, especially if you guys can be getting that awesome job, the Union Depository, and have a group of people helping you go do these missions. Because what you're going to need is potentially a good group of people here, and you guys can just be running this stuff all day long. Everybody's going to be making a ton of money. Of course, the host is going to be making a lot more, but that's the advantage of owning your own auto shop in Grand Theft Auto V. So what we've done is we have done two setups because that's all that it takes for any of the mini heists whatsoever to go ahead and complete. And then from there we are driving out to the lighthouse because this is where the end is going to be for the Union Depository mission. You made and then I want to show you guys how much money that we're going to end up that's making off job. of this. Not just me, but also my friends as well. Like I said before, this is going to be double cash and double RP for the payout, okay? And then, we're, of course, we're dealing with the FIB here, giving them some sort of gold bars and getting some sort of little envelope, which doesn't seem really fair. All right, so mission passed. $675,000 and 5,661 RP. So that's pretty good right there for the cash amount because literally I just got paid a fat chunk amount of money. Like, seriously, that was almost like if you rounded it upward, like $700,000 just for doing what? Two setup missions that are super easy. And then from there, going and doing the heist. Now, of course, the other heists have different types of, I would say, challenges that you guys have to meet. But this one right here, definitely worth it to do this week, is the auto shop contract mission. Uh, mini heist is what I would like to call them, like little mini heists, because that's basically what they are. And then go ahead and complete those. And then, like, my friends just got paid $130,000 for helping me do this. And, of course, I got paid the big chunk, which is a little bit unfair, I would say. But that's the advantage of owning an auto shop, okay? Now, another thing that's going on is, I believe, service vehicle deliveries are going to be dishing out double cash and double RP. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to duplicate these vehicles. So I'm going to sell one and then I'm going to have a staff member sell one. I'm going to show you guys how we're going to be doing that here in just a second. So I've already got these cars upgraded to where the person that is bright brought it in to their specifications. And then from here, all I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to press X down on the D-pad or up on the D-pad really fast and then X again. If you guys are on Xbox, you're going to press A down on the D-pad and then A. And you're going to do that very fast fast okay now to let you know that you hit the glitch is because you're gonna spawn outside in the service vehicle and we will need to deliver this at this time and then you'll notice in the upper left hand corner that it says that there is going to be a staff member that is delivering the same vehicle so check this out so well for some reason my character is like glitching through the map I don't know if, if this happens to you guys when you do this sometimes but it seems like it happens to me a lot that my character gets glitched out all right, so so I just made 109. Okay, so it was originally like 110 thousand dollars. I made 109 because I did hit something, and then of course that decreases the value, which is why when you're doing this, you don't want to like hit things, you know. But I didn't have anybody chasing me or shooting me or anything. That was just like somebody that came out of nowhere. All right, guys, now let's do this other one real quick. Now, re like remind you, I have a staff member delivering that other vehicle okay and i'll show you guys these payouts in just a second because they are duplicating this vehicle right here so once again i'm just going to go ahead and press x down on the d-pad and x again and i'm going to do that super fast okay so this is basically the double car sell glitch to where we can duplicate service vehicles and you know sell two of them all right guys so once again we got ourselves another high-end vehicle so we'll go ahead and let's uh let's deliver this all right, looks like I'm, I'm glitched out again. My character is like wanting to fall through the map or something like that. We're not sure what's going on here. All right, once again, let's see how much money we ended up getting. 
All right, another $109,000. Originally, it was going to be $110,000 for that vehicle, and I believe that's dishing out double cash and double RP. So right now, with that money and along with that mini heist that I did, it's going to be giving me well over a million dollars. Now, another thing that I want to go ahead and point out, you guys, is uh, this right here. So watch. Wait for it. She's going to contact me. Where, where's she at? Oh, there she is right there. Just got paid. So there's there's the first car right there. $79,000. Almost $80,000. So that's like quite the decrease. Almost $30,000 for having your staff member deliver. This is why it's way better if you deliver the vehicles yourself. But I'm duplicating the vehicles. And then check this out right here too. Here comes another one. There's the second vehicle. That SS or SC1, uh, whatever the hell it's called. Oh, there it is. 83,000 plus dollars for that one right there, you guys. So, if you put it all together and you do the math on that, I just got paid $200,000 per each vehicle. And right now, just by doing all those little small simple things, I made over a million dollars, okay? And here's another thing that I want to remind you guys about is this week's time trial is dishing out double cash and double RP. But the bonus that you guys are going to get the first time for completing it is a first time bonus. You're not going to complete, like, you know, do it over and over and over and then keep getting the $204,000 that you would be getting for that. And then also, players that are on new gen console, there is HSW races that you can be doing and making like $252,000 just for doing those races. Now, a couple other things that are in the game right now that are dishing out double cash and double RP is an adversary mode uh, mission that is called land grab. If you guys have a couple friends, you can do some sort of an exploit um, going back and forth. And I'll have a video out hopefully later on this week talking about that. And then basically that is about it. I would say honestly, the biggest payouts this week are gonna be those contract missions over at the auto shop and delivering service cars and duplicating just like you guys seen that I did making a hundred thousand dollar vehicle basically turn into a two hundred thousand dollar vehicle because I duplicated it I'm selling a copy and my staff is selling a copy so anyways from there guys this is the in my opinion best ways of making money this week in Grand Theft Auto 5 so if video was helpful hit like button on the way out subscribe for more content and thank you guys for watching my name is Gravesite and I'll see you in the next video so peace